Yeah. Ah. Once again, uh, giving you a call back. Um, again, I'm, I'm a senior compliance officer with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, my job is to simply verify and confirm the order. Uh, so I am confirming a buy order from who is a portfolio manager with all right. Yes. In accordance to the regulations that are set forth by the Securities and Exchange Commission on the U.S. markets, for the protection of both parties, what I'm going to do is record the details of the trade. Yes. It goes on file as a voice audio signature with the Securities and Exchange Commission as a regulated trade. Okay. Um, it, it functions exactly as a fingerprint. It's non-retractable. All right. Do I have your consent to place the order? Um, before you answer that, uh, what's his name, said, I've got, was it 48 hours to agree to payment, and anywhere in that 48 hours I can decide not to, no payment, everything ends, no additional charges, is that correct? Once I put this uh, into the recording, okay, there are no cancellations at that time, okay? This is, goes on a trade with the Securities and Exchange Commission with Okay, however, once you do receive the documentation from that documentation will hold up in a court of law, okay? Um, if you don't go through with it, what happens is it will be a black mark on yourself with the, uh, in this case, it's the NASDAQ, okay? Enough of those black marks, eventually you get blacklisted and you're unable to trade on the NASDAQ. Does oh, that make okay. sense? That's no hardship if I've never done it before. Okay, okay. Is there, is there any particular reason that you wouldn't be able to? I mean, if it's a matter of the trade plus two, which is pretty much standard across the board with every you know, investment banking firm, okay? If you needed more time, we'd be happy to work with you on that. You know, if it's a, if, as long as you're in communication with they won't have a problem uh, if you needed more time as yeah, far as the funding goes. Yeah, it's just availability of funds. I've got, um, bills that I didn't see when I was talking to him originally uh, and I was uh, gonna just say no but he kind of assured us that if I just changed my mind within the two days um, no additional charges or anything like that because I'm actually well, gonna no, I'm gonna take it to that's that's correct. You wouldn't be charged anything, but like I said, it would be a black mark on yourself as far as the Nasdaq goes, because this is trading on the Nasdaq. Okay. Yeah. You know, for those black marks, um, you know, three pretty much with the Nasdaq, three strikes are out, um, and they'll they'll blacklist you from the exchange for a few years. Oh, um, right. Then you'll have to, to to write letters to them to get your name taken off of the list of um, non compliance. If that uh, makes sense. Uh, but I can assure you right now that nobody's ever had a problem with paperwork. And yeah. like I said, it will hold up in a court of law. Um, my suggestion would be go ahead and, you know, go ahead with compliance here. Get your documentation out to you so that you can have a look over that. Get your documentation back to so that they can issue you your online platform username and password. Okay, yeah. so that you can see that, you know, your account is active, well, well that, that you have a platform account with them. So you can see your shares on the account. Yeah, so you'll have more confidence in that way. Um, and then once, you know, you do effectuate the payment and the payment clears, your stock will <clears throat> become active and you'll be able to buy and sell at that time. Oh, okay. okay. So, you know, heaven forbid, you get back into a corner and you need some funds, well, you simply go onto your online trading platform with and you click sell, and the funds are back into the bank that you paid from within 48 hours, usually how long it takes to clear, uh, depending on the bank, anywhere between 48 and 72 hours, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm actually getting right now is um, 
well, you call it a platform. It's a platform to allow me to buy and sell with their assistance or without their assistance. It's basically a shop front, technically speaking. Exactly. It's much like a, a f- account, if you've heard of them, or yeah. uh, online trading platform that's, uh, that, that they use here. Um, so, yeah, you're in complete control of your account at all times. It's just there to guide and advise you. Um, you're under no contract to follow his advice. You can buy and sell anytime that you want to. And you're in complete control at all times. And as a matter of fact, I'm legally obliged uh, by the SEC to tell you that, um, that uh, you know, the, the function of is purely advisory and you're under no contracts. No, okay. you're, you're in complete control of your assets at all times. Well, let's so. go down the track and see how it goes. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the recording, all yes. right, and uh, we'll take it from there. Give me just a moment. This is Senior Compliance Officer with the Securities and Exchange Commission on February the 11th at 11.38 p.m. Audio signature in compliance with the SEC on the U.S. market. Portfolio Manager, has requested a buy order of 20 shares of at an institutional buy price of $290 per share. With a 1% commission, the total bill is $5,858 US dollars. The purchasing party is Mr. Please state your full name as it's written on your passport. Are the details of this trade clear into your understanding? Yes. And do I have your consent and your authority to place the order? Yes. As a senior compliance officer with the Securities and Exchange, Exchange Commission, <clears throat> excuse me, I acknowledge this trade on behalf of and in time of audio signature is February the 11th at 8.39 p.m. One moment. Okay, in, a, in about an hour, you're going to receive the documentation uh, that I'm telling you about. It's your application form, along with your W-8-B-E-N form, which is an IRS form, okay? If you would, fill out your application to the best of your ability. Also include in there, when you send it back, a copy of your government-issued ID, whether it be a passport or a driver's license. The email address that they will send to is dot at is that correct correct good good like i said you'll get those in, in about an hour or so yeah, yeah. Oh. i'm going uh, and i do like i said i do have to tell you and, and legally obliged to tell you that as i said earlier is purely advisory okay you're under no contracts to follow their advice and you have complete control of your assets at all times. Do you understand that? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Any questions for me at this time? Um, no. no. Okay. Well, that pretty well, pretty much wraps up um, my responsibilities as far as the trade goes. As I said, look forward to your documents from You'll receive those in about an hour. And thank you for your time today. Welcome aboard to And I wish you the best of luck on the U.S. markets. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.